All right, today, guys, I want to talk about something that's a pretty serious issue that's going on here in Miami. Now, I know I've been in my apartment for the last couple of videos, and that's for a reason. As you guys can see, it's pretty gloomy outside, so it is hurricane season, and it's literally raining right now. So it's a bit tough to make videos outside. Literally a couple days ago, I literally got caught in the hurricane. I was literally in the middle of making a video, and it literally started pouring down on me. So it is pretty tough to make videos outside. So we're gonna make the best out of the situation. So as you see for the title, today I do wanna talk about OnlyFans. Fun fact, I actually met a couple of OnlyFans models. So it's been a pretty crazy experience for me here. If you're any male from the ages of 16 to like 40 years old, you would know Fresh and Fit. And of course, Fresh and Fit have, you know, changed the city to an extent also. And I gotta be honest, it's pretty hard to find a good, decent woman that's not an OnlyFans, that's not, you know, walking around naked. That's just a good, dutiful woman that you can be proud to bring home to mom. So today, I wanna to talk about how OnlyFans has inspired the culture here, you know, in the dating scene, and how it's affected me just trying to find a good woman. And I gotta be honest, it's been a pretty crazy experience. So a little fun fact, a lot of people probably think, you know, OnlyFans models are a pretty rare experience. If you're not from Miami or a major city, you probably have never run into an OnlyFans girl or anything. But I'm not gonna lie to you. I've actually ran into a couple of OnlyFans girls and I wish I had it recorded, but I don't. I gotta be honest with you guys. It's a pretty normal occurrence to run into an OnlyFans girl or an Instagram model, if you can call them models. Dating is damn near impossible. So first, I do wanna get the facts out of the way. I do understand that most OnlyFans girls don't make a ton of money. Only the top 1% to like maybe 5% of OnlyFans creators actually make decent money. I think the rest only make around I think it was a hundred bucks a month. Every single girl here, I don't know why, I don't know where it comes from, they think they're gonna be the next Sky Bree or Bad Baby, they're gonna make a million dollars a month, which is not true. They deserve, you know, a guy making six figures plus, with, or making 250K a year plus, self. which is actually fucking insane because most people only make 30 to 40K a year. Every single girl wants and thinks they're gonna get a multi-millionaire man. I don't know, like, it's crazy. It was only like a couple years ago before, you know, OnlyFans was a thing. Have we forgotten, have people actually forgotten normal life? Like, what happened? Of course, I don't want to be at the bottom of the totem pole. But for me, bro, if I was making 70, 80K a year on YouTube, I'm good. I don't have to make millions and millions of dollars to be flexing in front of people that don't even know me. Like, who cares? Like, yo, live your fucking life. You're watching this video, bro. You don't have to be a millionaire. You can live your life. I know a lot of guys out there are stressed and sad or depressed because they're not making millions or they're not blowing up on YouTube or blowing up on TikTok and they don't have the clout. You don't need none of that because honestly, bro, I've realized, I'm not huge yet, I understand this. It's probably gonna mean nothing to most people, but you know, I've gotten to a point, you know, I'm about to hit 2K subscribers and you know, I get comments and DMs from people. I've actually had people meet, like see me in real life that was subs to the channel. But none of that really made me more happy. And I know, like I said, I'm not huge yet, so I might be just talking on my ass, but honestly, like, yeah, when I go outside, I'm not thinking about my YouTube channel and hopefully people can see me and hopefully I'm recognized. Yo, I just wanna go out, not be stressed to bills, and just live a decent life. But the OnlyFans culture here, bro, makes every girl think if you're not a multi-millionaire, you're worthless. And I just, just, it's insane to me. I have a guy coming into my videos right now saying, yo, why do you live in downtown? You can live in a cheap little, like, I don't want that, bro. I don't want to live in a cheap little rinky-dink. No offense to the guy, but like, I was trying to explain to him that, you know, living here and having, you know, wealth and seeing other people live so much better than me does motivate me. But for him, he just did not understand. Some people you just can't get to. It's not just OnlyFans' fault. As I said before, Fresh and Fit has heavily influenced the culture here, you know, the way people think, talk, act, to the point where most girls immediately assume that if you're a young guy and you dress properly or you look a certain way, they automatically assume that you're just red pill. For those who don't know what red pill means, basically, to put it into like layman terms, it's just understanding how dating works or how girls think in the modern dating world. But for the girls, they think you just hate women, which is not the case. At least that's how I think. I don't know, some guys might actually out there hate women, which we don't agree with here, bro. We're not on that hate women shit, bro. Like, come on. You know, a lot of girls that do OnlyFans or do sex work or whatever, go to their podcast and they get berated by thousands and thousands of guys. It looks really bad on guys like us when you have guys out there that actually hate women. They type in the chat, oh, F you B word, or, or you're gonna die alone because you don't deserve a good man, blah, blah, blah. Like, it looks really bad on the guys in general. Like, guys, if you're doing that, don't do that. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't, 
it doesn't help. They come out into the world and immediately assume that every guy is just like that. So whenever you say things like, oh, I'm just trying to work on myself, I'm trying to, you know, better myself, become a better man, they assume first off you're a red pill, and then they assume you just a woman hater. It's literally just a double whammy. You're not gonna win that battle. You know, OnlyFans was a real big boom. Tons and tons of girls saying how much money they made and how it's quick and easy money. So a lot of girls honestly think that you know, they're gonna hop on OnlyFans, and I literally seen, bro, it's so fucking sad. The saddest thing I've seen is girls that literally turn 18, waiting to turn 18 to immediately start on OnlyFans. That is the saddest. I feel like you didn't even try it. Like, how do you. Get, oh my god. Oh my god. How do you not even try your life? How do you immediately turn to 18 and say, you know what? This is my career pal. How do you not even try at least to get a job or go to college? Like, how do you immediately just start OnlyFans? But the point is, a lot of girls, you know, start OnlyFans thinking they're gonna make a lot of money. And I don't know about you, I'm not trying to date an OnlyFans girl or a sex worker or a stripper or something. I don't know about you, but that's not that's not my prerogative. I'm not trying to do that. If it's so normalized, what do you think the kids are gonna do? They're gonna start an OnlyFans. I'm a pretty conservative guy. I'm not trying to, you know, have my girl just be everywhere. Like, I want a pretty, not private life, but I don't want something that's supposed to be private and something that's so personal to be just exposed out to the internet. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get married. Like who? What girl am I gonna marry? I'm, not, I'm literally gonna have to leave Miami to go find a girl. I'm gonna go to like the Midwest, Texas, or Colorado, or Ohio, or some shit. Bro, the amount of stories I've heard of girls just cheating on their boyfriends for no reason, like, it's actually really sad. It happened to me recently, so I didn't get cheated on, thankfully. Oh my god, I couldn't imagine. And I hate to talk about this topic because I don't like drama, but... So this is this girl, we was at a party. Well, I wasn't at the party. She actually invited me to the party. And while I was at the party, yo, her boyfriend's literally sitting in the party like across the room, he's literally seen the shit. I get there, she immediately jumps up, yo, oh my god, he's here, blah blah blah. Tells me to come sit down on the couch with her. I sit on the couch, she's immediately like touching and blah 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 and doing all these things. We leave the party eventually. And you know, as we're walking back home, she's literally telling me how much D she loves sucking and giving all type of stories on how she loves popsicles and shit. Like it's it's fucking it's actually absurd. And then her boyfriend's just sitting there. And the saddest thing is, he was defending that shit, bro. Like, like, bro, if you're watching this video for some reason, I don't know. You know, hopefully you guys, you know, move on, live a better life. You know, have no hate in my heart. That should have never happened. The fact that I was even there, you should be asking yourself, why is he here? What are we doing here? And he, he is young. He was only 20 years old, so I kind of get it. Like, I'm not going to hate on him or anything. But at the same time, bro, it's like, you got to respect yourself as a man. Like, your girl is not treating you with respect. You shouldn't sit there and just deal with that shit. Like, yo, I don't give a fuck what the context is. You should not, there's no defending that shit. Like, how do you defend that? Oh, bro, like, don't try to defend your bad behavior, your shit behavior. What are we talking about? But, you know, I don't want to talk about drama. Like I said, we're over that. We're past that. Hopefully they get better. That's a very normal experience. Like, a girl has a boyfriend. She don't give a fuck about not really respecting him. Maybe she's just there because she wants some attention or she got to live with him or something. She will literally just disrespect a boyfriend or cheat on him and not give a fuck and the guy would literally just sit there. Like it's, it's a pretty prevalent issue. I'm not dealing with that. Like, that's not for me. Bro, when I was in middle school and high school, it was not like this. And I hate the girls that go on podcasts or, you know, they have big platforms and they preach how they'd rather have money over a man or they don't need a family, they'll be happy by themselves. That shit disgusts me. Like, yo, I literally just can't see marriage being an option anymore. Like, bro, there's girls my age right now starting OnlyFans, doing OnlyFans, or even if it's just Instagram. Like, that shit is not okay. Like, bro, imagine in 10 years you have a kid and your kid's scrolling on your old Instagram page, they find an OnlyFans link or some shit, and you see your mom getting clapped out. Like, bro, what the fuck is that? What are we doing, people? I don't know if it's because I'm from the South or I was raised with just good parents or what it is, but yeah, like people these days just don't think about their actions or people have told me to start OnlyFans, bro, I'm not doing that shit. I'm not doing that shit. You can do that. You know, if you wanna do that, that's on you. But you know, today, girls just wanna have fun. They don't care, you know? And it's really just sad to see how the world is going. So, you know, the OnlyFans culture and having girls thinking, you know, they really get money and fast money and just not care about guys and they don't need a man, really just fucked up the world, you know? Fucked up dating, it fucked up everything. So at this point, I'm gonna do what the girls say you know, I'm not really looking for a relationship. I'm rather just, you know, working on me, working on my money, working on my, who I am as a person. I wish we could just go back to the world where, you know, the, the most controversial things were like Logan Paul, you know, doing that thing in the, in the Korean forest. Like back in the day, that was one of the biggest issues we were actually going through. Nowadays, it's girls that use their brother to promote the OnlyFans and their whole family. Like it's, ridic it's ridiculous, I'm, it's, it's done, we're done. 
it's a wrap for society. Let me know what you guys think. You know, I think it's over. I think we're screwed, you know, at this point, especially here in Miami, it's a fucking wrap. Yo, this is actually crazy. The minute I open my phone up, I see three different things that relate to OnlyFans and girls cheating. Let me turn it down so you can see me. This dude literally broke down in tears because his girl cheated on him. And then you have Myron saying girls deserve less. And then the video that was up, an Asian OnlyFans model, like what the fuck? What's going on, people? Like, what are we really doing? Hopefully this rain can stop soon because I do want to go back outside, bro. I've been in this apartment for who knows how long. It's actually kind of depressing me at this point. I want to go back outside and just be a free man. Love you guys so much. See you in the next video. Love you. Peace.